Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This video is being prepared for the teachers to guide them that how they can change the setting of their Zoom cloud meeting. Nowadays, teachers are using Zoom cloud meeting application to teach the students. But due to certain issues, students may create disturbance in the class because Zoom has facilitated with some different issue uh, aspects which may help the teachers but at the same time it may disturb the class here you can see on the screen a meeting is going on now i will tell you how can you adjust the setting of your meeting in the bottom corner you can see the written word more in three dots on this word just click it out and you will see this display click the meeting settings when you will click the meeting settings the meeting settings will automatically get displayed on your screen. Now here, there are different aspects on which you can adjust the setting of your meeting. First one in the security lock meeting. You don't need to lock the meeting because you, because you allow your participants and you don't have any issue with your students to get in the meeting. So lock meeting option is not for you. Next option is the waiting room option. The waiting room option is turned blue. It means that you have allowed the waiting room. Your students first will come in the waiting room and when you allow them, they will come inside. And if you want to disable the waiting room, just click this button. As you can see now on the screens, that waiting room is disabled. Now your students, they will not go to the waiting room. When they accept your link, they will directly come into the class. Next is allow participants to. Number one is screen share. Simply don't allow your participants to share the screen. Here you can see that screen sharing to the participants is not allowed. They are not, they cannot share the screen without your permission because there is no need for the student to share the screen. If you feel any need, you may allow in that particular meeting, but generally do not allow them and disable the screen sharing. Next is chat with. Allow the participant to chat. No one host only, everyone yeah, publicly. You should allow only the host only. If you allow everyone to chat with each other, this is the main option which students use negatively and they keep on chatting with each other while the class. So you should definitely don't allow them to chat with each other in any class. Only host can chat. Rename themselves. It's alright. If you want, don't want them to change their names, you can disable the option by just clicking the button. Unmute themselves. Don't allow them to unmute themselves unless you yourself allow them to unmute. Just disable this option so that they cannot unmute themselves during the meeting and they should not create any disturbance in the meeting. Now meeting topic can be changed. Just click the meeting topic and here you can write, for example, if you want to write the chemistry class 9th A. Whatever topic you want to give to your meeting, you can give according to your topic, your class, your section. It will be displayed this way in front of you. Play join and leave sound. It means that you, you, whenever a participant get in or go out, you will listen a sound. Don't allow this option because it can disturb your class. Next is general. Mute upon entry. Mute upon entry means when you uh, enable this option, a participant when get inside the class automatically get muted. You don't need to mute them again and again or separately. So it's, it is a better option. Just mute them upon the entry. If you uh, want to have your own lecture or class and you don't like the disturbance in the class. Show non-video participants. Do not disable this option. Keep this option enabled. Because if you disable this option, then the students who do not turn on the videos will not be showed. So better not to go with the option of disabling show non-video participants. Always allow non-video participants in your class so that you may come to know which students are sitting in your class but the videos are turned off so that you may ask them to turn on their videos. Show name when participants join. It's up to you. You can enable this option. You should enable this option whenever a student gets in the class. His or her name automatically will be showed to you. And if you don't have the concern or interest in getting the names of the students because it is not the requirement of your class you may disable this i hope now you have got all the settings from top to the bottom about all these given aspects 
and uh, definitely it will help you in uh, making your uh, classes more peaceful and more disciplined before getting the participants entered please make your settings done which you wanted to stay blessed stay safe at your homes may allah bless us all and bless our students in the continuation of that meeting settings video i also want to guide you that if you are taking the classes on laptop with the zoom application how you can manage the settings on the laptop here you can see the laptop screen when you take classes on the laptop such type of screen get display display in front of you so let us start with the option of mute i'm getting the close up when you open the participants bar here you can see that invite mute all and settings option these three dots are here just click on these three dots a dialog box gets displayed in front of you here you can see the different options like mute participants upon entry which you have seen on the mobile as well it now it's up to you if you want to mute them upon the entry just click on this option this if you will click this option a tick get appears now here if you want will continue definitely you will mute the participants if you click on this you just disable their permission to get themselves unmute simply i will cancel this option because just i am showing it to you how you can manage this here are also different options like allow participants to unmute definitely disturbance of class you don't want to allow them to unmute just click on this if it is not ticked it means it is not valid or it means it is not enabled so here are different options allow participant to rename themselves if you want to allow them just tick it or if you don't want just click it it will be disabled place down when someone joins or leaves already i have told you about this option enable the waiting room if you don't want to enable the waiting room simply untick it if you want to enable just click on it now you can see that your waiting room is enabled so it is better in your class that disable the waiting room so that it will not disturb your class again and again that you don't need to go to the waiting room again and again and you don't need to allow your participants inside the meeting and lock meeting is not for you because you don't need to lock your meetings now we will go to the next option of meeting settings so here comes the option of screen share just come to the screen share as a host and see this small arrow just click this arrow and you will see the setting options one participant can share at a time multiple participants can share simultaneously screen split option but the most relevant option which you need is in advanced setting that you allow only the host to share the screen do not allow all the participants to share the screen don't click on this just simply click on this only host and how many participants only one participant and then one participant will be host in this way your students cannot share their screens on the during the class and definitely they cannot disturb you by sharing the screen only the teacher is allowed to share the screen now it comes to the chat if you want to disable the chatting of the students with each other during the class just click on this option of chat at the bottom of your meeting when you click the chat you will see on the side here a dialog box get opens where you can see the chat to everyone file and again these three dots which are responsible for the settings just click on these dots and you can see participants can chat with and now up to you no one host only everyone publicly everyone publicly and privately so you should say no one kisi ko bhi nahi kare you don't like them to chat during the class 
or the host only so in this way they will not be able to chat with each other and they won't be disturbing each other during the class or they uh, they should they will be attentive in your class they will not be involved in some other activities if the chat is disabled so now the whole meeting setting is according to your own personal will and you can go on with that so i hope it will be helpful for you in managing your discipline class in a more better way thank you so much stay blessed at your homes once again a prayer for you and fear manallah